Okay, I'm just going to show you the, um, the hot glue fix that uh, is recommended for the Hobby King 401 gyro. Just on the back, there are four screws. Let me just undo those firstly. Inside, you can see the uh, PC board. It's got two vertical components and the wires. First thing I do is check the wires, make sure the solders are correct. That actually doesn't look too bad. The boards are reasonably vertical and the wires are fairly secure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put hot glue to reinforce these two connectors here and these two connectors here. I'm also going to put hot glue over these solder joints and these solder joints on the other side. If you turn the uh, gyro over you can see the wiring in here. The solder appears to be okay but the wires are very flexible so you know as the helicopter vibrates and moves around that could uh, potentially come loose. So what I'm going to do also is put a whole lot of hot glue around that just to give the uh, wire some added rigidity and uh, strength. Now you'll notice over these small dip switches there's a plastic protecting sleeve. There it is, I've taken that off now. Just a little bit, not too much. You're just trying to get uh, get a bit of strength happening on those joints. Okay, I'll just secure the wires inside. I'm fairly liberal with the glue in here. You want it to get in and around all the wires. Makes it nice and strong. A little bit more in there behind. That should do the job.
I'm sure some of you could do that a lot neater than I did, but uh, hopefully it gives you the idea. It's exactly how I did my uh, last one, and it works perfectly. It's an awesome gyro. Okay, the final step is to actually refit the circuit board back into the um, housing. And what I'm also going to do is put a small amount of hot glue. on the corners and that'll just help hold the circuit board rigid inside the casing. And there you go. All I need to do now is just screw the uh, the back on. And we're good to go. Thanks for watching.